Boy, Beaver, wait till the guys find out you were hanging around with a girl. Boy, they'll really give you the business. But gee, Wally, you hang around with girls. The guys don't give you a business. Well, that's because I'm in high school. You can do a lot of stuff in high school without getting the business. <laughs> and there they hang out with girls. Boy, such a popular show for generations. Of course, that was Leave It to Beaver, uh, which I believe uh, went off the air about 55 years ago. Doesn't seem like that long ago. Speaking of hanging out with girls, Tony Dow, one of the stars, and his wife of 38 <laughs> years, Lauren, are both going to be starring God, married in thir Yes, and I'm going to get into that because I need some. <laughs> I'm about a year and a half into my marriage. I need some advice from both of you. They're going to be starring in Love Letters at the Catholic. Catherine Hepburn Cultural Arts Center in Old Saybrook, the Kate, a wonderful little venue, and that is starting on Sunday. Uh, thank you both for being here. A pleasure hey, to well, meet you, Tony. Nice to meet you. A pleasure. But, you know, you said yes. the show uh, was off the air 55 years. It's never been off the air. <laughs> yeah, it's always it really been in hasn't. syndication. It's, it's always then. been in syndication yeah. somewhere. And as a matter of fact, uh, I think it's one of the longest, if not the longest running scripted uh, television show outside of, yeah, what, Meet the Press or something. Yes, thing yeah, like Meet that. the Press generally. And I think last time I saw it was on, on TV Land, I believe, but I, I, can't, I can't remember which, uh, which stations are on. But either way, I mean, it, it, this has allowed some longevity. I imagine there are people who were born far after 1963 that have come up to you and said, oh my goodness, it's Wally, how you it's, doing? It's always surprising. Yeah, yeah. it really is. And, uh, but, you know, the show still holds up if you have the guts to put it on and <laughs> tell people that you're watching it. <laughs> this is true. Tell me about Love Letters. How did both of you get involved in that, and what can people expect when they go see it? You want to say something? Well, yes, the Tony had done it with a number of actresses. Judy Norton from The Waltons, Joyce DeWitt, yeah. a whole, whole range. But people would say to me, why don't you do it? So I thought, well... I've kind of memorized it by now. I've yeah. seen it so many times. Although, thankfully, we don't have to memorize it. We can read it. You can read it, too. Yeah. Anyway, for people who don't know the play, it's, it's, a, it's a love story yeah. about two people who have known each other since uh, second grade or something. And they've uh, kept in touch primarily through letters. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the audience gets to hear those letters that they've gone through when they've gone through, you know, teenage years, college, their professional year, you know, and so. His character loves writing letters. Yeah. Very old fashioned. My character hates it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's just a necessity. Do either of you find any sort of meaning in, in, in these readings of the, of the letters? Yeah, I mean, I find it really, uh, it's, it, it's, it's really well written. I think it was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize when it mm -hmm. first came out. And uh, A.J. Gurney's the, um, the writer, and, uh, you know, it's, it's really a well-written play. Mm -hmm. and I, I, it's, very, I, it's very touching. Yeah, very touching. bittersweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure a lot of you, uh, not necessarily a lot of seats there at the Cates, so you're going to want to go in and, and, and get it yourself. Uh, talk to me about uh, about being artists. So you're an artist, I guess you're a sculptor as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it always amazes me about how people who are talented in one art and can find that they can transfer it to another yeah. medium so well. How do both of you do that? Well, I, well I, I'll say he does it very well. Yeah. Well, He's she's great, one, too. Well, <laughs> anyway, let's quit doing that. No, no, no. Come on, tell me about it. This is why I'm asking. No, just, you don't I have mean, to be he, modest. He's not just a sculptor. Well, if you were just a sculptor, there's nothing wrong with that. But he is, um, oh, my God, he builds furniture. He builds houses. He's. I think people that are creative are creative in all areas. Yeah, yeah. You know. what he was So saying, that's been true. a goal of mine since I was, uh, you know, probably a teenager that I just wanted to live a creative life. Mm -hmm. And of course you have to make an effort to do that because it isn't such a great business to be in yeah. necessarily. But the film uh, business is. So you're finding that uh, obviously with acting it's all up here, but do, with sculpting mm -hmm. you have to use your hands. I, well, I understand it just doesn't transfer. Yeah. yeah, and I was a, a director for the last 15, 16 years of my career mm -hmm. in, in television. and. Um, it, it, it really does relate because as a director you're dealing with a three-dimensional situation, you know, people, things, and uh, so I visualize scenes uh, in a three-dimensional way mm -hmm. and uh, you visualize your, uh, 
the piece you're working on. And how, you, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Do Please. you see these scenes in your sleep? Do you dream them from time to time? That'd be cool. No. no. He, he doesn't. <laughs> well, yeah, I the generation, do. is that how you do it? Do they just sort of pop in, or is there some sort of process where you compile bits and pieces and disparate ideas and, and, and bring them into a whole? Uh, how does it work for you, Lauren? I think it's just it just happens. It, it just, just happens. It, yeah, she's it very just, abstract, not and, yeah. and but when she's working, she's really specific about where she places things, and um, th that's what gears you know wh what she does. When I was writing, um, that you do in your sleep. You know, you wake yeah. up with an idea for a scene and something, and then you kind of go write it down, and you know. But sculpture, not so much. Not so much. That's oh. the only time you don't ask me how to spell a word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Well, I don't need words. <laughs> Lauren, how about you? Uh, sort of transferring, going from being an artist to getting up on stage. Uh, are there any similarities you found between the two at all? Personally, no. Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> Not <fine>. really. <laughs> How about oh, that? Man, that's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> how about at least working with a familiar subject? As well, opposed that's, to um, yeah. I, the thing is, we work together a lot. Yeah. It's like everything we do, we basically do together. Uh, not everything, but well, I mean, not everything. In the stuff around the house, you know, I'll build a foundation for a fountain mm -hmm. or a backsplash, and then she does the uh, mosaic work. It's not really mosaic because she uses a lot of rusted metal and crystal, and you know, a lot of different materials. But it, there is something really special about being able to do this mm -hmm. together. As, there is. Um, and there are things about our characters that some people say are very similar to who we are. I, I don't know because this poor girl had a lot of problems. And um, I, it's, it's a really great well, play. That's not do so you like writing away. letters then? Uh, I mean, do you like writing letters? Your absolutely. character does not. Yeah, I she loves love writing and I hate it. I so it's, love it's backwards. I've, I'm the one who sends the cards, writes the letters, makes the phone calls. Okay. You know, he's busy making his art and playing with our new puppy. The separation of duties. Yeah. Uh, uh, before you go, mm -hmm. what's the secret to being married 38 years? I need to know. This is for me as much as any. Don't argue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, it's... We really uh, don't. It doesn't... Uh, you don't have to win, you know. Mm. So if somebody says something that's not true, or you can bring it up and say, no, that isn't the way it is, and then if a potential argument would start, it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. You don't have to be right. Well, also, it's been said a million times, you have to be friends, you know? No. Yeah. I like what you said, you don't have to win. That's the difference between a conversation and a debate. You enter a debate with the idea, I'm going to win, not yeah. to listen to the other ideas. Right. A conversation is how it works. A pleasure meeting you hey, both. great meeting oh, you. Again, Thanks. again, Sunday at uh, the Catherine Hepburn uh, Cultural Arts Center right there in Old Saybrook, a beautiful little place. Both of you are going to love it, I assure you. Thank you for joining us today, both. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.